fix that. friends, it's me Handyman How. The Handyman that's got a plan. <laughs> Perfect timing that you're here. I just got an awesome toy in. This is a NASCAR racetrack. <laughs> and it has electric powered cars that go on their own. Yep, mm -hmm. they drive on their own. This is great. So, got a few pieces put together. We just gotta finish putting the track together. This track is 14 feet long. That's a long track. <laughs> All right, so a couple of pieces here. Got, this is one corner here. This is one corner here. Let's see here. All right, got that. Oh, and I've got a straightaway. This is going to be really long. All right, I'm going to attach this part here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, I cannot wait to test this out. Have you ever played with a racetrack before? It's so much fun mm -hmm. to see the cars race around the track really, really fast. Oh, I might need a little bit more space. Oh, let's move this right here. Let's see here. Because mm -hmm. this one is coming all the way down here. <laughs> yeah, let's slide it in there. It's really cool how this track goes together. It has tabs on the bottom and they just link right together. Perfect. Got that one. Now let's do this side. All right. Just slide those tabs right in there. Right underneath the track there. Perfect. Check it out. Oh, wow. This really is a big track. That's 14 feet of winding and curving straight away. Oh, oh check this out. It even has. A winter circle. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, it's really cool. Looks like they already have some winners out there. <laughs> oh, it comes with some really cool crash barrels. Check that out. <laughs> oh, those. Oh, and check it out. We even have little mini safety cones. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Oh, also have some really awesome signs. Check this out that we can put on the track. So let's see here. We've got four of them, so we could probably put one right here. Oh, there we go. Let's see here. Oh, I like this one. We can put this one right here. Perfect. Two more, and we'll put them on this side. <laughs> on this curve over here. All right, right there. Perfect. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we'll put this right here. Oh, and look. It says drop the hammer. I like that one. <laughs> all right, so we've got our track all set up and ready to go. Let's see. Maybe we should start the race right here on the straightaway and then go into the first curve that way and then come into the second curve right beside the winner circle and then into the third curve and then we'll finish right here on the straightaway. <laughs> that sounds like a plan to me. Ooh, but let's check out these cars first. Look at them. <laughs> they look amazing. We've got a purple one. This got the number 62 on it. Oh, and look at the green one. Look at the flames. It's got the number 57 on it. Ooh, and then there's an orange one here with some racing stripes on them. And the number 73. Oh, and then the blue one. It's got flames too. Number 49. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, you know what's really special about these cars? It's the way they are charged. They have flash charging technology. Yep, so you take the car and you put it on the charger for just a few seconds. And it's gonna charge it and make it go really fast. Are you ready? Whoa! There it goes. Here we go. Oh, wow! Check it out. <laughs> All right, so we got one. Let's put it on the next one. Charge it for a few seconds and let it go. <laughs> There's two. There's three. And there's four. We've got all four cars going at one time. Oh, they're neck and neck. 
Oh, wow. Oh, no, we've got a crash. Oh, let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Oh, we've got another crash. We've got three crashes. I think we've got a winner. Oh, wow. We've got a winner. It's the orange 73 car. Oh, but watch this. This is really, really cool too. We can take it and sit it on the winner circle. Oh, oh, oh. Might need to charge it a little bit more. Oh, there it is. And check this out. It spins on the winner circle. <laughs> wow. Check that out. Isn't that awesome? Oh, I think. We've got a few cars that needs to go to the pit. Oh, let's see. Oh, yep. Looks like we've had some damaged cars that need to go into the pit. Oh, here comes the pit crew. Oh, underneath the hood. There we go. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, fantastic. These cars are absolutely awesome too because they actually break apart when they crash and then you can put them back together. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, so we've got that one. Oh, we've got the purple one over here. Looks like it's still good. Oh, awesome. Let's do this one more time. <laughs> All right, so let's line these up right here. Let's see the orange one. We can take that one off the winner's circle because it might not win the second race. Ooh, maybe we should set up some crash barrels along the track. Let's see, we'll set them onto the sides first. Let's see there. Let's see, we'll put one right there. Right there, yep, that looks good. Put one right there. Let's see, maybe you can put one right here at the, behind the winner circle. All right, there we go, perfect. Got those set up. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> let's start out with the green one first this time. Let's see. Oh, here it goes. Here we go. There's one. Whoa, we're knocking over the barrels already. Oh, there's two. Oh no, the purple one didn't have that much of a charge. Oh, there's three. And there's four. Oh, wow. It looks like the orange one's in the lead. Oh, the blue one crashed again. Let's see. Let's see who the winner's gonna be this time. Oh, they're slowing down. They're slowing down. Oh, the orange one crashed, but the green one's still going off the track. <laughs> so I'm gonna take it. The green one's our winner this time. <laughs> oh, let's get him into the winner's circle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Oh wow, NASCAR is so awesome. <laughs>my friends it's me any man now i hope you're doing absolutely awesome today oh, look at where we're at we're here at the nascar hall of fame in charlotte north carolina and it's gonna be an absolutely amazing day we're gonna learn all about nascar racing and look at some awesome race cars it's gonna be great come on let's go have some fun <laughs>
won the 2022 Daytona 500. Oh, oh, and this is the actual car. Well, they've cleaned it up a little bit and then they brought it here. Isn't that neat? Oh yeah. Oh, well, let's check out some more of these cars. Come on, let's go. Oh, this one's kind of cool. Oh, my friends, look at this one. This one is the number 43. This is a Richard Petty car. Oh, wow. This one's really, it's a really famous car. Oh, well, check this out. They've got an interactive screen here so we can learn all about it. Look at this. Oh, oh wow. See, there it is. So we can tap on it. Oh, we can get inside of it. Oh, let's see. Look, that's the back. Oh, and we can spin it around. Oh, look, there's the driver's seat. Oh, and the steering wheel. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can see all the gauges. Oh, can we zoom in some? Nope, nope. Oh, oh you can see the pedals. Oh, and the gear shift there. Oh, wow. That's really, really, really cool. Oh, so you can learn all about these cars. Oh, come on, let's go find some more. Oh, oh, I know this one. I know the number 24. That's Jeff Gordon's car. Oh, oh, let's see. Let's see if we can learn all about it. Let's see. Oh, there it is right there. Oh, oh it is a Chevy Monte Carlo. Oh, that's great. Oh, maybe we should look on the inside of that one. Oh, there we go. Oh, that one's got some cool stuff in the back of it. Oh, let's spin it around. Let's see if we can see. Oh yeah, there's the driver's seat and the steering wheel. Oh, and look, got all kinds of cool gauges on that one too. <laughs> and this car is Jeff Gordon's first championship car. He won it in the 1995 NASCAR Winston Cup. Oh, look, this is a NASCAR racing truck. Not only do they have cars, they have trucks too. Oh, oh and this is Bubba Wallace's truck. Oh, he's number 34. And you can see, he actually dedicated this truck to an inductee, Wendell Scott, who's already in the Hall of Fame. Oh, oh, and they got a really cool sticker. This says NASCAR Hall of Fame on it. Oh, I wonder what it's like to drive a NASCAR truck. That'd be amazing. Oh, check this out. They have displays of different tracks around the country. Oh, like Dover Motor Speedway, Texas Motor Speedway, Atlanta Motor Speedway, oh, and the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Ooh, and they have samples of what the track looks like, like its surface, like here at Texas oh, and Fort Worth, Texas. <laughs> oh, it looks a little rough there. Got some rocks and pebbles in there. Ooh. And then at the Atlanta Motor Speedway, it's a little bit more smoother. Not as many rocks in there. Oh, but then at the Charlotte Motor Speedway, it's a little bit more smoother. <laughs> oh, and that's located in Concord, North Carolina. That's awesome. Wow, oh, this place is amazing. Oh, are you noticing? But the Glory Road track, it's changing. Oh, look at this. Oh, you see this? It's a sign that tells you that the banking on this track is 12 degrees. So that means on this side, it's really, really low. Oh, on that side, it's higher. NASCAR Hall of Fame built this. So you can see just what the banking is like on curves on some of the NASCAR tracks. Oh, well, we can even try it out. <laughs> we can walk up these steps here. Oh, we can actually walk onto the track here at the Glory Road. Oh, right here at this spot, it's a 14 degree bank. Oh, could you imagine driving a car on this? Oh, wow. Oh, and you know, did the banking can get up to 33 degrees. Oh, and we actually can check that out. Come on, let's go. <laughs> 29, 30, 31, oh, 32, oh, and 33 degrees. Oh, this is 33 degrees of banking. Oh, wow. Gonna hold on to these rails to get up here. <laughs> this is great. Oh, I don't know if I could drive a race car like this. Let's see. Oh, well, you know what racetrack has this type of banking? 
It's the Talladega Motor Speedway in Talladega, Alabama. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh, the Glory Road is pretty awesome. Ooh, but there's so many cool things to check out here. The NASCAR Hall of Fame. Come on, let's go. Oh, look, my friends, this is a pit challenge. Oh, this is where you can pretend to be a pit crew member in a NASCAR race. Oh, this is great. Oh, and you know, there are five members on a pit crew. Well, they can change tires, they can fill a car with gas, they can jack the car up. Oh, it's really cool. Oh, and you know, just like your car at home, it needs gas and tires. It needs to be serviced every now and then. So does a race car at a NASCAR race. They have to have new tires, they have to have gas. Oh, because sometimes races can get really long. <laughs> oh, so here's this, this is what they have to do in a pit crew. One person has to jack up a car with one of these jacks. It's pretty cool. Oh, what's awesome about this jack is Lefty Lucy lowers a jack and Righty Tidy actually jacks the car up just like that. Oh, and then the next person actually changes the tire. Oh, they get to use this. It's an air wrench. Oh, oh, oh. oh, so what happens is I get to twist out the lug nut. Oh, right? Then they change the tire. Watch this. This is cool. Pull the tire off and they get to put a tire back on. Oh, oh, oh. oh there it goes. Oh, and then they get to change this where we put them on. And then we do it. Just like that. Oh, oh so we got a tire. And then. They have to fill the car up with gas. Check out this gas tank. Oh, you know, a gas tank fully loaded with gas can weigh up to 92 pounds. Oh, so you gotta be pretty strong. So they take it, lift it up, and slide it right into the tank. Oh, and look, see, it's filling up. And once the red light comes on, that means it's full. And sometimes, whenever a car comes into the pit, they actually fill it up with two tanks of gas. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh! Awesome. And then, once it's over, done with, you come back over here and you twist your jack to the left and it drops the car down and the racer's ready to go. Oh, isn't that neat? Oh, and you know, in a real NASCAR race, the pit crew can change all four tires and fill it up with gas within 10 seconds. Oh, wow, that's pretty fast. Oh, in here, they actually have a timer where we can test ourselves at being in the pit crew. <laughs> oh, so first we have to stay behind this line and then we have to tell the pit chief that we're ready and then we'll start. <laughs> All right, we're ready to go. Oh, here we go. And it's gonna start us out. Ready, set, go. Oh, here we go. All right, so we gotta lift it up. Till it stops. Oh, there we go. All right, then we gotta get the tire off here. Let's see. Oh. Okay, cool. We gotta take off the tire. We gotta put it back on. All right, there we go. And we gotta switch it. Oh, yes. oh, and then we gotta get the gas up. Okay, here we go. Oh, in there. All right, there's one, two, there's three, there's four, there's five, and then the red. Let's lift it up. And then we just gotta drop down the jack. Almost. Wow. Wow, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. It's not as fast as the actual NASCAR pit crews, but 30 seconds is pretty good, I think. <laughs> oh, look, this is Mr. Kevin. How are you, Mr. Kevin? I'm doing great, Handyman Hal. Oh, that's fantastic. So I hear that you are the director of exhibits, right? That's right, I get to find all the cool stuff that we put in the building. Oh, oh and it's great. You do have some really cool stuff, but we are in a really cool looking room here. What is this? That's right, Handyman Hal. This is our Hall of Honor. And this is where we celebrate the best of the best in NASCAR, whether you're a driver, a crew chief, even if you're in the media or a track owner, if you've made it to the top of the peak of the NASCAR career, you're honored in this room. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's all kinds of cool things. What are these things on the wall here? That's right, every person that's inducted, and that's what we call it, when you're voted in and you're put in this room, you're called an inductee. So when you're inducted into the NASCAR Hall of Fame, we build this really cool, tall metal thing called a spire, and it's got an etched engraving of their face and a video and a brief story about their life and career. Oh, wow. 
that's so cool. And then you've got cars in here and it looks like they're, they're suits and things. Oh, this is really, really awesome. That's right, <laughs> every year the curators work really hard and those are the people that go out and do the research. A curator is a really important person in a hall of fame or a museum. They go out and they find things that we call artifacts. And those artifacts are trophies and fire suits and documents and all the different awards that make these people so great in the sport. Oh, you really do have some cool things here in this room. That's right. And, and the whole entire Hall of Fame. Oh, if you're ever in Charlotte, North Carolina, you should come and check this place out. It's awesome. Thanks so much, Handyman Hal. Maybe I can try this one more time. I beat my last time. <laughs> Pig crew chief, we're ready to go. <laughs> here we go, behind the line. Ready, set, go. Oh, oh, here we go, push it up. Oh, there it goes. All right, here we go. Let's get this one. <laughs> oh, 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 and then, oh, no, we gotta take it down. Oh, and then we gotta put it back up. Okay, there we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, we gotta focus. Let's get the gas. Oh, there we go. One, two. Three, four, five. Oh, almost there. Oh, okay. oh, oh, lift it up. Oh, and we got to lower it down. Here we go. Oh, wow, look. <laughs> we did. We beat our time. We got a 25.45. That's pretty good if you ask me. Look, they have a workshop here too. Oh, come on. Let's go check it out. Oh, cool. Look at this. Oh, look. It's my friend. This is Jason. How are you? I'm great, Handyman Hal. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Welcome to the NASCAR oh, Hall of Fame. Oh, and it's been absolutely amazing. Oh, we're excited to have you here today. You know, I hear that you are the education manager here. That is correct. Oh, that's great. So, you got something really, really cool here. I it's do. It's like a car yeah. inside of a box with some ribbons on it. Yep. Oh, and look. There's a fan on it. <laughs> so, so what is this? So this Handyman Hill is our wind tunnel, and this helps to show how air and a race car work together. So air is very important when it comes to racing, and it's also very difficult because air will do whatever it's gonna do. So right. we try to build race cars to move as smoothly through the air as we can, because as you know, air is a very strong force. That's exactly right. So when we're going really fast, air can really become an, in an issue. So we are designing race cars to have air move as smoothly as possible over and around the race car. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, we don't want too much air under the race cars, because too much air under a race car is gonna have it lift up off the track and fly. We don't want race cars to fly. We don't fly. want flying race cars. <laughs> not, not so much. I mean, it'd be kind of cool to look at. I mean, <laughs> It'd be no, really no, no, no. scary for the drivers though. So this is gonna demonstrate again how the air flows. So when I turn it on, you're gonna see the ribbons move and you're gonna see how that shows how the air is moving. Should we turn it on? Yeah, let's go. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Well, this is gonna be great. Oh, I can't wait. All right. Oh, here it comes. Here, here it here. comes. We got our There's panels open up. Oh, oh, and look, the vent's open. Oh, oh and look. You can see how the air's going through and it's moving all of the ribbons. Oh, that's really cool. It is. So we have at the top different scales. So the scales are showing how much air force is being put on each part of the car. So this is showing how much air force is on the front. This one is showing how much air force is on the back. Wow. So on the front, it's got 0.23232323. Come around in there, and it's in pounds, so it's like 0.2 pounds. Yes. Oh, and look, and the back scale is 0.72123. Pounds. Oh, so there's more pressure on the back. There is more than pressure the on the back. Yes. Oh, that's cool. You know, the race cars are built a lot like a bicycle. So the back is actually where the control is happening. So the drivers and the, the engineers want more weight and force on the back of the car for better grip and better handling for their driver. Well, and then you just steer with the front. And then we just steer with the front. That's oh, wow. right. This is really, really cool. Yeah. So on the back, to help add more force, we put what we call a spoiler. So you can see we've got our small spoiler on there adding that much weight now if you want to you can add a bigger spoiler and we can see how that affects the weight on the car oh yeah let's try all right it. go ahead and put it on okay hang so on it's gonna be windy oh wow <laughs> it is windy back here Woo. Oh, wow i don't want to fly away so i just put it right here 
That's right. Put it right there. Hey! Oh, wow! Oh, so that's perfect. All right, let's, All right, see. let's see what happened. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, look! It went from 0.7 to point 1.1. I think I saw a two in there once. Yep. Hells of pressure. Wow. Well, that's pretty cool. So how big can spoilers get on the back of a car? They range from track to track. So NASCAR kind of changes that all the time oh, because wow. we're trying to figure out what works best. Oh. But the faster we go, the bigger the spoiler we're going to have. Oh, that's the that's general great. rule. Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. This is absolutely awesome to see how air flows over a car on a racetrack. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, well, well, what else can you teach us? Uh, well, why don't we go over to the engine? Well, there's an engine? We'll show you the engine. Oh, come on, let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> Look at this. What is this? So this handyman hell is our race engine. Oh, wow. So this is an actual engine this is inside an of a race car. That would be inside of a race car. Yes, sir. Wow. This is amazing. Oh, 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 well, can you tell us a little bit about it? I sure can. So as you probably know, the engine is the most important part of a race car. Well, of course. Because what is the engine making the race car do? It's making it go forward. It's making it go forward and it's making it go fast. Oh, that's right. The race car's got to go fast. You can't win the race if you have a full race car. So the engines are built to have a race car go fast. Oh, that's right. All right, so race cars can go up to 200 miles an hour on some of our racetracks. So the engine well, that is really allowing is the race fast. <laughs> Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> so the engine is allowing the race cars to be able to do that. So there's wow. a lot of working parts in an engine, but right. we'll kind of go through the simple parts, all right? Okay. So the engine, they shift. So the drivers have to shift their car into gear. The highest gear they have is five. Okay. So they can have up to five gears, okay? And that is controlling as we talked about with the wind tunnel, the back part of the car, because again, the rear tires are giving you the control, oh. right? Okay. So I don't have tires on my car right now, but you can kind of see right here or over here. This is where the tires would go. And then we would put the lug nuts on to secure the tires. Oh, cool. All right, so we've got our brakes on here, our brake pads as well, so that we can mm -hmm. stop the car when we need to. And this is known as the drivetrain. So this is what's actually sending all of that and controlling the tires are gonna spin. Oh, that's cool. The rear axle, because tires are attached to an axle. Right. So the song about wheels on the bus, not correct. Oh no! The wheels on the bus don't go round and round. Oh. They're attached to an axle. So the axle is what actually goes, goes round, round and round. round. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> Isn't that okay, crazy? Okay. All right. So these right here, these are the exhaust pipes. Like the mufflers. The mufflers almost, exactly. Oh, cool. And you'll notice they're a lot shorter on a race car. They so sure the are. driver, I'm actually on the wrong side, but that's okay. The driver actually sits over here and he's sitting pretty close on top of the muffler on oh. the end of the exhaust pipe. So because of weight, we kind of shorten some aspects of a race car mm, and certain pieces cool. and stuff. Okay. Right? So I can turn this on and have it run. Really? Yes. You can crank this engine up? We can crank the engine up. Oh, okay, well, let's go. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, wow. So this is our, right in here is the gearbox. So this is Ooh. what we shift with. That's see controlling everything. It's moving. Oh, that's really, really cool. Oh, oh and there's moving parts up here too. There are moving parts over here as well. Oh, so wow. this part in here, that's moving up and down. That's what we call the piston. Ooh. So the piston has four main jobs. Okay. First, it's bringing in air. Okay. And then it's bringing in the liquid. So what do we have to put in a race car engine in order to make it move? What's Ooh. that fuel called? Liquid yes. called. Yeah, we gotta put <laughs> gasoline or fuel in there. So the air and the gasoline come together and then they get compressed. So they get okay. smushed together. And then we have to light it on fire. Ooh. So we have a part called a spark plug, which is right here. Okay, so the spark plug sends out a spark it lights that gas and air on fire, and boom, we have a working wow, engine. Wow, that's really cool. All of this happens really, 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 really fast. Over and over and over and over and over oh, again. Wow. So that is Ever the end. wondered about how a race car engine works? This is absolutely cool. You can see all the moving parts in there. Oh, that's great. And you got your belts. Yep, oh, moving all the gears. your alternator and yep. your fans. That's oh, right. Oh, that's really cool. That's oh, right. Oh, 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 well, this engine's actually been slowed down. We have slowed it down yep. a lot, correct. Oh, but a real engine goes really, 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 really fast. <laughs> oh, that's absolutely awesome. So can we, like, change gears? We can change gears. So we're gonna look at the back wheels, because like I said, the, the gears are changing the back tires. So ready, go. There we oh, go. Oh, wow. Look. 
<laughs> Everything oh, so moving. This is spinning. Yep. This is the drivetrain. The drivetrain. Right. Oh, and then it's spinning inside the axle. The axle is the axle inside which this goes too. around and around. <laughs> and then the wheels spin. Check that out. Oh, that's absolutely awesome. You think I could try it? Go ahead. So just pull it straight back. Yep. Oh, wow. You did it. Look. <laughs> we changed the gears. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. Jason. Yes. There's a lot of cool things here. Aren't there? On this table. It's got a really cool tablecloth on <laughs> So check your flag. Of course. So what are we going to be doing here? So, Handyman Hale, all of these parts and pieces can come together to make a race car. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I do see wheels. So. You do see wheels. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we've got some cardboard. We've got jumbo straws. We've got a whole bunch of wheels. We've got wooden sticks or dowels. Mm -hmm. We've got two types of tape. You can choose what kind of tape you want. We've got some balloons, we've got some air pumps, and we've got scissors. So we're gonna build a race we're car. We're gonna build a race car, and we're gonna race each other, and we're gonna see which race car goes. Oh, so up. you're gonna build a race car I'm too? I'm gonna build a race car too. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna see which car can go the farthest oh. across so we, the floor. Do we have a time frame on how long we need to build this car? Um, let's say 15 minutes. Let's see. Okay. I think we can do it. Yeah, you can you do ready? it? I'm ready. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Stop the timer. <laughs> Mark, look at this. Look at this. He's had practice, so he knows what he's doing. <laughs> I built a couple of these. <laughs> <laughs> Time's up. Oh, okay, let me put this last thing on here. All right, one last touch. Number one. Ready to race. I'm number one. Oh, <laughs> number one, you chose Ross Chastain. I chose number four, Kevin Harvick. Look at his car. <laughs> Yours looks good, though. <laughs> you ready to race it? Oh, let's go. All right. <laughs> let's get ready for the big race. We have Handyman Howe versus Mr. Jason. <laughs> We're getting ready to race. Oh, what better place to come and race our cars than here in the Great Hall. <laughs> and we have Glory Road behind us with all those really cool race cars. So, Mr. Jason, are you ready? Are you ready? Absolutely. We have both of our race cars and they're powered by wind. So there's a couple of items. We could use a balloon or an air pump or we can blow <laughs> with our mouths. <laughs> all right. so. I think I might want to use an air pump. What are you going to use? I'm going to use an air pump as well. Let's do this. <laughs> Andy Manhel, do you know the most famous words in racing? Nope. Drivers, start your engines! Oh, oh, oh yes, this is great! <laughs> Oh, wow. You know, there's so many amazing things to see here at the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Oh, even this place right here, this is like going back in time to see what it's like when racing started. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this car. Oh, if you see, there's a red line right down the middle. Oh, and it kind of shows you what a race car looked like back in 1956 when they started racing, and what a street car looked like. If you notice, they almost look exactly the same. Well, what they did is they kind of took a street car, they started taking things off and out, like the seats, there's no seats in there. Oh, and look, there's no headlights. So they started making it lighter, and they started racing. <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. Oh, look at this car, come over here. Oh, look, this one 
is a 1992 Pontiac Grand Prix. Well, you can see what happened over the years. Oh, we've got a regular street car that looks really cool and the race car. So over the years, they've changed the seats in there. They've changed the shape of the car. Probably didn't make it all go a whole lot faster. And they started putting designs on it, like stickers and decals. <laughs> oh, and look, this one's got the number 43 on it. But you can see inside the difference between a regular street car seat and a race car seat. Oh, well, let's fast forward 20 more years. Look, these cars, race car and a street car, are kind of what it looks like today. Well, they've changed an awful lot. Well, the graphics on it has changed. Oh, and the aerodynamics of it has changed. Of course, to make it go a whole lot faster than it used to. Well, they've made for safety too. Of course, we've got to keep our drivers safe. <laughs> but it absolutely looks amazing. Got the number 19 on it. Oh, and look, you actually can compare the two seats from a street car and a race car. Oh, this one, this is a seat that you might find in a car that one of your parents might drive. Oh, it's nice and comfy. <laughs> oh, and then you have a race car seat. It looks a lot different. Oh, let's try it out. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow, this is a lot different. Oh, got some headgear here, kind of protect their head. Oh, do you know? Each race car driver seat is actually custom made for each driver. Oh, so they nice and secure inside their seat so they don't move a lot while they're driving around the racetrack. Wow, this is amazing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, my friends. We've had such an amazing day here at the NASCAR Hall of Fame in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's been awesome. We've learned all about NASCAR racing. We've checked out some really awesome cars. Oh, and we got a chance to get into a simulator to see what, what it was like to drive like a race car driver. Oh, maybe with a couple of crashes in there, but it was great. Oh, and we got to pretend like we were part of the pig crew, change tires and fill up a car with gas. Oh, and we got to check out some of the awesome race tracks and their trophies. <laughs> it's been such an amazing day today. Well, thanks for watching Any Man How. We'll see you on the racetrack.